Australia's Great Barrier Reef has experienced another mass bleaching event. Bad news in itself, but unusually this bleaching happened during a typically cooler La Nina weather conditions. Aerial surveys examined more than 700 individual reefs and found 91% exhibited some kind of bleaching. Live to Wollongong now, we can join Associate Professor Sarah Hamilton, who is Professor of the Australian Coral Reef Society. This is indeed bad news, Sarah, but can you tell us what exactly happens in a bleaching event? Uh, well, what exactly happens at a bleaching event is, um, so the Great Barrier Reef is made up of 3,000 individual coral reef platforms, and each of those platforms itself is covered by uh, hundreds of individual corals. Now, those corals have a symbiotic relationship with the algae that live in their skin, and uh, they rely on those algae for their food. So the algae produce sugars, energy, um, and when coral bleaching happens, um, that relationship breaks down and the, coral, the corals expel the algae from their skin. Uh, because those algae give the corals the colors that they have, the corals uh, start looking white and uh, that's essentially a stress signal. So the corals are then in trouble, they're uh, without most of their food source and they've got a short uh, time window, say about five, five days to a couple of weeks, um, within which to either repopulate themselves with algae, uh, otherwise uh, they'll die. How concerning is it that this has happened, Sarah, in a La Nina year? Yeah, so the, the news that the Great Barrier Reef is bleaching is, is not new news. In fact, it's bleached, uh, I think, four times in the last, uh, uh, well, since 2016. Uh, the fact that this is happening in a La Nina year, this is the first time we've ever seen this. It's unprecedented. Uh, La Nina years, well, uh, La Nina is part of a climate cycle that typically happens every two to nine years, and we can expect uh, cooler waters along the uh, northeast coast of Australia during a La Nina year. Um, obviously, uh, that's superimposed on top of a uh, continuous sort of upward trajectory of warming ocean waters. So you would hope that within a La Nina year, um, the corals of the Great Barrier Reef might get a bit of reprieve in terms of having waters that are hot enough that would cause them to bleach. And obviously that's not happened in this one in the year. Do you think that the reef should be placed on a list of World Heritage Sites that's in danger? I know that's what UNESCO wants. The Morrison government doesn't want that. What do you think? Uh, so the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in danger, that's, uh, um, well, it's an international lever for reform. Um, and it's, it's designed to encourage governments to act better and uh, perform as better stewards of any World Heritage Sites that are in danger. Uh, with respect to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, uh, I think it would do, uh, it, it, it would push the Australian government to act better in terms of uh, phasing out fossil fuels, and that would be something that's only good for the reef. Very good to get your thoughts, Sarah. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, terrible news, though, about what is happening to the Great Barrier Reef.